Hey, it's Lacey Langford, the military money expert, and it's time for What the Heck Wednesday. Let's do this. Today's What the Heck comes from a reader that wants to know what the heck is the BRS. Well, there is a whole heck of a lot of what the heck is the BRS going around these days. The BRS is the blended retirement system, which is the new retirement system for the U.S. military that starts on January 1st, 2018. What's important to know about the BRS is that there's four components to it. The first one is the pension. The second is the TSP. The third is continuation pay. And the fourth is a lump sum option. To better understand the BRS, I want to explain how the current system works. The current system is called the legacy system. And in it, there are two components that are important, the pension and the TSP. So in the pension, it works the same way. You serve 20 years and you receive continued monthly payments just as you were working, but you will be in retirement. In the legacy system, you are eligible to contribute to the Thrift Savings Plan or the TSP. You can give money from your monthly pay into your investments within the TSP account. But under the legacy system, you do not receive matching contributions from the Department of Defense. So I want to be clear on that big difference that if you continue to stay in the legacy system, you will not receive matching contributions. But in the BRS, if you opt into that, you will receive matching contributions up to 5% of your basic pay into your TSP account. So between the two systems, both the BRS and the, the legacy system, you receive a pension. I want to be really clear on that and repeat that because there's been a lot of confusion on this. If you opt into the blended retirement system, you will still receive a pension after 20 years of service. But there is a difference between the way the monthly payment you receive is calculated in the BRS versus how it is calculated in the legacy system. So let me explain that. The way in the legacy system that your monthly payment is calculated is 2.5% times your years of service times your highest 36 months of basic pay. In the BRS, the multiplier goes down, and so the calculation is 2% times your highest times your years of service times your highest 36 months of basic pay. So the monthly payout you will receive will be about 20% less than you would receive if you were in the legacy system. Now, if you're a reserve component member, your calculation is the multiplier. So in the BRS, that would be 2% times your points divided by 360 times your highest 36 months of basic pay. So if you go in, stay in the legacy system, if you're a reserve component, it would be 2.5% times your points divided by 360 times your highest 36 months of basic pay. Let me explain those four components to you. First, there's the pension, which after 20 years of service, you receive a monthly payment, and that amount is based on your years of service and your basic pay. The second would be the TSP, which is a thrift savings plan. If you don't know what the heck that is, I'll put a link below for you to find out more about it. But a quick explanation is the TSP is the government's version of a 401k. It allows you to save money for your own retirement. You can put money into your account and with the BRS, the Department of Defense is going to match up to 5% of the amount you put in of your pay to your TSP account. The third component is continuation pay, which is a one-time bonus that you receive at your mid-career point, which is about eight to 12 years in exchange for more service in the military. The fourth component of the BRS is the lump sum option, which is you are eligible to take 25 or 50% of your retirement pay in a lump sum option up front. 
Now, this is in exchange for a reduced monthly payment in retirement until you reach Social Security retirement age, which for most people is 67. So let's review that. The blended retirement system or the BRS has four components, the pension, the TSP, the continuation pay, and a lump sum option. Right now, you may be facing the decision whether to opt into the BRS or stay in the current legacy system. It's a big decision. There's a lot of resources out there for you. I will put some of those resources in the comments below, but you definitely want to take the time to learn what the heck the BRS is and the details to help you make a better decision about your financial future. For real, take it serious. Now that you know what the heck the BRS is, I want to know your big takeaway from this. What's one thing that you've learned about this? Please put it in the comments below because I would definitely want to know. If you want to learn more about money and military, head over to LaceyLangford.com and sign up for my email list. You'll get access to my giveaways, I'll send you the latest updates, and my insider information. Thanks. traditional way, that doesn't even freaking make sense.